COVID-19 cases are surging across the country and tonight we want to know more about the doctor who will be stepping in temporarily to serve as our state health director. Yeah, Dr. Acton's sudden departure creates a political power vacuum. News 5's John Kosick joins us live and John, you've spoken with Dr. Acton several times. She was not your typical state official. No, and though she won't say it, it likely played a role in her decision to step down. Now, Governor DeWine, who's already had a challenging 2020 and so far, faces an even bigger hurdle in trying to replace her. When Governor Mike DeWine took office in January of 2019, there was a hole in his cabinet, health director. It would be the last position he would fill. He didn't want a bureaucrat. He wanted someone with a public health background who had a passion for the job. Dr. Amy Acton told me in April she gave the governor an earful in her interview, which she figured would take her out of the running. Never in my life did I expect a phone call or a job like this. It landed her the job, a job she would hold through the state's greatest health crisis in a century, a job she would walk away from on Thursday. This week, Dr. Acton told me that she feels it is time for her to step down. She will be replaced on an interim basis by Lance Himes, the department's general counsel and deputy director, who served twice as interim director during the Kasich administration. A state's health director in normal times serves in relative anonymity. The coronavirus crisis, though, thrust Dr. Acton into the spotlight. There were public accolades, Facebook fan pages, and other shows of support that popped up across the state in her honor. There was also pushback from those, including Republicans in the legislature, who tried to strip her of her power in an effort to reopen the state. Dr. Um, Acton said Thursday the demands of the job were too great, governor, but though she may no longer have the title, um, she will still have something. The governor's ear. DeWine convincing Acton to stay well, on as his chief health advisor. In addition to advising on health issues, she will continue to focus on the COVID-19 crisis while remaining committed to the vision of the department. The Dr. Acton will stay on in that role, which will take her out of the public eye, but still in a key position in this fight is an example of something she told me in April of the thought that has driven her since this health crisis started. The story is always in all the famous pandemics is you didn't do enough and you always rack your brain hoping that you've done everything you can. So here's what it boils down to. Dr. Acton has been a trusted advisor to Governor DeWine throughout this whole crisis and nothing changes on that front. It now takes place though out of the public eye, behind closed doors and away from the rigor of the public scrutiny. Well, John, we know Ohio is facing a two and a half billion dollar hole in three weeks, looking at pay cuts and furloughs. Doesn't this just add another high salary position? Technically, yes, but only when the health director's position is eventually filled. Right now, it's pretty much just revenue neutral. I reached out to the governor's office, too, because it is possible that a portion or all of the salary that the uh, health director, Dr. Acton, might get possibly might be covered in part through care stimulus funds because of the role that she will be playing. Mm, all right, John, thank you. Appreciate you as always.